Dan Galusha, and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Flank. We got a gun back with us that we've had before. This is the Umarex Ruger 1022. The difference is, is if you watch the review, we had a bit of a problem on the sight as far as there's no windage adjustment. Well, we still really drilled the center of that uh, by just using good old Kentucky windage. There's a way to get around that, and uh, I've done it. I took the mount from my regular Ruger 20, 1022 firearm and mounted that right on here, because it does go on there. This is already capped and ready to go. Fits very, very well. And then I took this Axion, see right here, it's an Axion red dot scope, and put that on here, and I adjusted the windage with it, and I think it's pretty much on. We're going to shoot it, and we're going to find out. We're going to fire at a target, and then we're going to do some planking besides. So, like I said, I'm not going into a big thing on a review. I'm just showing you how you can adjust for that, and uh, it actually, you know, it rematches up nice. Uh, great, really, and, and we're going to shoot it, and we're going to see what happens. And By the way, I've done a review on this, too, before this Axion. Very, very nice red dot scope. Uh, it will go up to 11 intensity on it, but I don't use it that high. I probably use it 2, 3 at the most, and it is red. It's not a green, it's strictly red, but it works great. So we're going to go over, and we've got a target set up, and we're going to shoot, and then we're going to set up some of my old cardboard toilet paper rolls and shoot at those, too. So let's go shoot. All right, I've got this set in a 10 meters, and you can see it's it's a used target. I've already been sighting in and got it right there, so hopefully this is going to do the same thing. Uh, we're going to shoot at it, and we're going to find out. And by the way, those of you that don't know what 10 meters is, uh, that's about three inches shy of 11 yards. Uh, so, you know, you're right around 10 yards, so it doesn't make much difference right in that area. And I'm going to use this on single action so that I only pull that bolt back every time. And we're going to take some shots at this and see what happens. That should be 10 rounds. Uh, we'll take a little bit look at that later. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to reload and then we're going to do some planking. Okay, we got our planking target set up and uh, we're going to see how that works. Some of them fell down when they weren't supposed to. So I've got a few rounds left. Why don't we set them up and uh, I don't know how many rounds i got left, but we'll shoot a few more. Nope, that was it. I was out on that last one. So, 
let's take the target over there and we'll take a good look at that up close. You've already seen it, so you know what it's going to look like. Get my glasses off here. There we go. I don't really think that it worked too badly. Um, it, uh, it did a pretty good job as far as that scope goes. And whoops, I still got it turned on. You want to remember that to turn it off because uh, you don't want to use up your battery. I don't remember if this has got an automatic on off or not, but uh, some do. It, uh, and I've got enough of them, I can't remember which one does what. But anyway, always turn it off anyway. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, like I said, this is the Axion Red Dot on the Ruger 1022 Umarex version, the airgun version. And it uh, didn't work too badly. Let's take a look at the targets. I'll set this down in a safe location, hopefully. There we go. Don't want to damage anything. Well, since I got this sitting on top, we'll take a look at the planking first. And uh, I picked up one that had been an unused one. And you can see it's pretty much center right there and when I'm planking I'm not really taking careful aim I'm just mainly just taking a shot right at the middle and that's what I did with these so that's one that just had one round shot through it as far as the target goes uh, I think all the rounds weren't right in the middle I mean you've seen it as it happened naturally we got the wind kicking up but you've seen it as it happened and that is a one and I think one and three quarter inch circle uh, so you know that's that's pretty good actually because uh, I did not use Kentucky windage like I did before and of course before I knocked out the center and I, I think I've got it adjusted pretty good good enough that I can take it now and shoot it in comparison to the actual firearm and what I'm going to do in that video so that you know ahead of time I'm going to use a lower velocity ammunition on the actual Ruger. Uh, probably either CCI standard, which is around 1070 FPS, and maybe even add the Aguila uh, standard, which is 1129. I don't know, just a little bit higher and, of course, much higher than what this, this uh, uh, Umarex version is, because it's, since I'm shooting lead, I'm running about 600, 650 feet per second with that. So, yeah, a lot, a lot of difference, but I'm not going to take the Ruger firearm out all that far. I'm going to do it the same so that we can compare them as to how they actually shoot. I'm, I'm sure they're going to shoot about alike. Uh, I'm not going to use the open sight on this where I will be on the actual Ruger. The reason being is because of the windage. This way they have got an equal footing as far as both having windage and elevation adjustment. Anyway, that's what I'm planning on. That's going to be another video. And that's not going to be right now. Right now I wanted to just see what the Axion Red Dot Scope did with the uh, Umarex Ruger 1022. And I think it did a very good job. Hey, I'm back. After we turned off the cameras, I had my extra CO2 left in it, so just for the heck of it, you know, I shot that on single action. I wanted to see what it would do with double action, where I'm actually got the heavier trigger pull. Well, this is what happened. Nope, not that guy. Right here, I drilled out the center. That's what I did. This down here, as my CO2 started running out, and remember this. On these guns that have got those round magazines like that, uh, if the CO2 starts running out, don't keep firing. Because once the pellet gets jammed in there, you may have one devil of a time getting that magazine back out of there. So uh, you want to remember that. And it, you can see I was really running out because right there, that pellet's in perfect shape and it was just stuck in the paper so it was definitely running out of CO2 and that's what it started doing down there and actually started grouping at a lower velocity with the less of the air but when I still had it it drilled it out and that's on double action I want you to see that so until next time shoot safe and have a great day of planking